Module 1, Lesson 36. Lesson 36 of Module 1. Okay, I want you guys to... Who put this up here? Did I put this up here? Just to get it in my own way. No. Okay, there are 10 beads on the floor. There are 10 beads on the floor. That is my total amount of beads. Okay, my total is 10. All right, there are the same number of red beads as there are white beads. Um, how many beads? A uh, student, let's see, a student picks up the white beads. How many beads are still on the floor? I need a Naya to close out. I need her listening ears on. Thank you. Okay. We've got 10 of the same number of red beads as white beads. If somebody picks up the white beads, how many red beads are on the floor? Ellie? Five. Five. Thumbs up if that's what you have. Thumbs up. What would you have, Tori? Because if we put up 10 fingers and we take five of them away, and five, then we have five over here, right? If we split up that 10 into two equal groups, we've got five and five. You guys know your doubles facts, it makes your lives easier, right? And so then we would say, and minus the five she picked up off the floor. She still has five beads on the floor. We would say there are five white beads. There are five white beads. On the floor, okay. Um, and if we were to draw a picture for that, right? We go one, two, three, four, five. We're doing our ten group. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and we're doing whoa. We're doing groups of five, five and five. Those are the five beads that that were picked up. There's five beads still left. Okay, that's what we are practicing doing. Facing away. How many are left? Give me that needs to go back on your face. Your beautiful face. Okay. How many beads per line are on my? How many beads? Do you remember? Do you remember, Hayden? Ten. Ten. Very good. Now, if I say, uh oh. Some of my beads fell off. Some of my beads fell off. I started with 10. I end up with how many? Anaya? I, I need the amount that's on here. I need this total. How many do I have left? Danny, Hi. let's do this together. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six. If you guys knew it was six, wonderful. Okay, so the problem that we did, the problem that you guys just did, uh, we said 10 minus how many equals six. Six. So, in order to find the answer to that, we can also do it um, an addition problem. Six plus what equals ten, right? Six plus what equals ten? Ten minus what equals six? Or you can do ten minus six equals what? Oh my goodness, did you guys know you could do all those related facts using the same numbers? Uh-oh. Just now. It is. The spam calls. I keep my phone on for timers and stuff when we're outside of recess and spam calls get me. All right, Anaya. Put your mask back on properly. Don't need you to be the mask, please, please. 
I don't like it. My favorite. Okay, and I have quick tear in the tape off of your name tab. That drives me absolutely batty because I put it there not so you could rip it off. Jimmy, please stop. Ellie. Well, five and five, but I don't have five up here. So guess what? My answer can't be five. Right? So we could count up. We could say, okay, six plus what equals ten? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We could count down. We could go ten, nine, eight, seven, six. You got four both ways, right? We could count, let's see, we could count back six, right? See what we land. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. We just found like three different ways to get the answer, right? And it was always. Jimmy, I'm going to ask you one more time. You need to be part of this with us. I already know this, and I heard what an awesome job you were starting to do at home with math and what a awesome so sock and little math real rock star you were. Okay, so I would love to see that here in the classroom. Okay, Jimmy, you think you can do that for me? Yeah. Show off your math. Okay, I want all of you guys to show off those math frames. Those math frames. What, Miss Miranda? <laughs> Right? So you don't need to have your hands still up because we, we said that a few times. Right? I'm so glad that you were all rock'em, stock'em, robot there. Rock'em, stock'em, math star, robot. I don't even know what I'm saying. I don't even know, man. All right. So we had 10. Once again, I took some away. Now we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. If I have 10 and I take some away... I end up with seven. And here's another way we could do it. Let's see. Okay, we're going to say ten. I love it. I feel like when I clear it, I shouldn't have to do with the eraser. Ten minus what equals seven. You could also do something like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now I want seven. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, I cross off the rest. How many did I cross off? Can we please quit playing with your hair? Put, put your hair tie in and then get your brain up here, okay? Thank you, darling. All right, can you see how we did that? We said, okay, we drew 10 and we counted one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, because that's how many we had left and we crossed out the rest. Okay, all right. So how many do we have? Any, mini, mighty max. You need to stop. We're not just playing in there. Take your drink, put your mask back on, put your drink away, okay? Because then you have your mask off for a long time. How many did we take away, Max? That's what I asked. We have seven. Right. We started with ten. We have seven. We kept seven. We took away three. Okay? That's how you fill in that missing number over here when you're doing a missing subtractor subtracting okay what about mm, i have 10 i take away six how many do i have left now we have our maybe and what i want you to do i need a naya to put that away before she loses her water bottle privileges because she won't stop playing with Okay, is you guys are gonna draw 10 dots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and we're gonna cross six of them out. One, two, three, four, five, six. And how many do we have left? One, two, three, four. Woo okay, if we did it, um, if I would stop losing my number lines, it would be so helpful. If we were to do that on a number line, right? We could go 10, please stop. And, and we're gonna count backwards six. One, two, three, four, 
five, six, and we landed on four. Okay, same answer, multiple strategies. Right now we're practicing this math drawing strategy, okay? Jimmy, if you are going to interrupt me with anything less than chit-chatting about math, I don't want to hear it. Okay. What about if I have 10 minus 9 equals, okay, look, I've got 10. I'm going to take away 9. I have, everybody show me on your finger. Anaya? Put that back off to the side. I'm getting so sick and tired of telling you to pay attention. It's disruptive to all of your neighbors. I will keep that away if you do not put it on the index. Stop it. It is rude to your other neighbors. They have to constantly ask you to stop. Okay? Just leave stuff alone. Play with your hands. As long as your eyeballs are listening. I don't care if your hands are moving, but you don't get to crinkle things. You don't get to play in your backpack. You don't get to sit there and drink out of a water bottle for 45 minutes so that you don't have to have your mask on. Those aren't appropriate. Okay? Wiggle your hands. Wiggle your feet as long as your feet aren't stomping. Okay? But you don't get to stomp your feet, but you can wiggle them. Okay? To get out some of that excess energy. Okay? But you don't get to play with your backpack and be disruptive. Okay? You don't get to play with your mask off for 45 minutes drinking a bottle of water. Okay? Um, but you can't wiggle your hands as long as you're not like in your face. So they're so distracting. If your hands are in your lap and you're kind of wiggling them, that's fine. If your feet are wiggling on the floor but they're not stomping and making noise, that's fine. Okay, that's too noisy, right? But if you just kind of wiggle it like this, right, in a way that's not going to make that's not making sound, so it's disruptive. That's totally fine. Okay, so. Oh my goodness, Danny, are you alive, wake, alert, enthusiastic? Oh my goodness. Okay, we're going to draw a picture. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and we're going to cross that nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have one left over. Okay. That's our answer. Okay, very good. I think you guys can do this. I think you guys 100%. 100% can do this. Um, we're gonna do. We're gonna just practice a couple of number bonds real quick. Looking at a couple of number bonds. If I have a number bond like this, okay. sometimes they're circles, sometimes they're squares. The same rule applies. The big one is the whole. The little ones are the parts. Right. So, if I have a number bond like this. I can finish it with um, addition. I can finish it with subtraction. Right now, we're really practicing subtraction. Should we say, it should say 10 minus 4. 10 minus 4 equals what? And then we're saying 10 minus what equals 4. Okay? If we were to not play with our jackets, no, take it off. Holly and I, I just talked to you. Please don't make me do it again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And we would take away the four. Right? One, two, three, four. We have, I'm so glad Max and Ellie are rock stars paying attention. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's what we came up with the answer to that and the answer to this. And we fill in our number one. Oh my goodness. Rock stars. Okay. You guys. You're going to be doing that on your papers. Okay. You've got 10 minus 6 and 10 minus 4. Obviously, they're not the same. 10 minus 6 is going to be 4. 10 minus 4 is going to be 6. But the first one, you're going to cross out 6 of them, and you're going to show 4 left over. The second one, you're going to cross out 4 of them, and you're going to show 6, six left over. Right? Just put it on. If you want to wear your sweater, put on your sweater. But don't play with it. That is the problem. 
On these ones, you need to do the math drawings. You need to do these little 10 dots and then cross out however many you're subtracting, okay? If you're at home and you don't have your workbook, you could pause the video, write down the answer to that and turn it in on Dojo. Okay, you know with that, guess what? You're doing the same thing, except you also get to fill out a number bond, a number bond. And then over here, just like what we did here, you finish filling out the number bond and you write the two subtraction problems that go with it. Okie dokie, artichokies. So, fill it out. Turn it in on Dojo. So you need to open up your workbooks. Turn to your lesson 36 problem set. Lesson 36 problem set. Miss Hayden? Okay. 